The library at the Natural History Museum holds one of the most comprehensive natural history collections of literature in the world. The focus of Rare Treasures is the published material that we have within the library. We selected our oldest book, written by Pliny before AD 79 when he was alive, but it wasn't published until 1469, so titled Historia Naturalis. Um, it is one of the first manuscripts um, on natural history that was ever published. So the book is actually written in Latin and contains over 37,000 descriptions and facts, um, and so it has become regarded as one of the earliest encyclopedias that have ever been compiled on natural history. It is a little bit questionable as to whether or not he actually saw or even investigated them all. This is kind of demonstrated by um, him including accounts of people that have 16 toes, along with many fantastical descriptions of some very peculiar and weird exotic creatures. So another book that we have, if we're staying with all things weird and wonderful, um, is Al Givandi's Monstrorum Historia. This particular volume is part of a set that he wrote, um, but this one was published posthumously in 1642. What he used it for was to try and provide a record of both real and also fictitious creatures. What you find are things like a sea monk monster, multi-limbed animals, uh, mermaids, and, and even a few dragons. One of the, the most spectacular books that we have in the collection that we obviously could not have left out of Rare Treasures is that of John James Audubon's Birds of America. Not only because it is one of the most famous natural history books and probably one of the most sought after, but just due to it, the sheer size of the volume but also the quality of the engraved plates it holds. Interestingly, what Audubon would do, and it's not um, something that I think bird illustrators would do nowadays, is actually go out and, and shoot his subjects, which he would then mount into their poses. Another highlight of the collection that has been included is that of uh, Ernst Haeckel's Kunstform in der Natur, which has been translated into art forms in nature, which is a selection of, of wonderful, both watercolour but mainly black and white plates, and, and these plates represent some of the most beautiful lithographs that have ever been produced. It was quite a tricky exercise going through the wonderful collections that we have here and coming up with 31 for inclusion in Rare Treasures, um, but I think what we have been able to include are some of the most standout and brilliantly illustrated books that have ever been published on natural history from the past 600 years. The likes of which we would never see published again just because the whole publishing process and printing process has changed so dramatically.